Okay, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here today. We are doing my favorite video to film for the month, which is Team Tinder. I'm so, so pumped for our TBR Tinder this month. So I have a little bit of free reign this month. I'm not doing a lot of readathons, which is kind of nice because I can just focus on mood reading more and just reading more things that I have to read or have been not reading, AKA some of my books this month. So if you are new here and don't know what TBR Tinder is, I will leave the link to the first video that I did explaining TBR Tinder and all the rules. But basically what I do is I put all of my own TBR into a random generator and it generates books on my TBR for me to swipe right or swipe left on depending on if I want to read that book this month or if I don't want to read the book this month. It's pretty straightforward. It's very self-explanatory. We are going to have a great time. Let's just get into it because I'm stoked for this. Okay, so let's do just do like a quick little wrap up of last month. Um, there were four books on my TBR Tinder last month. We had Oathbringer, The God of Small Things, Red Rising, and then The Atlas Six. I DNF'd The God of Small Things. I got about 70 pages into it and I was just like, I don't even know what's going on. I don't even understand the plot. I was very confused. It was not sticking with me. It was not speaking to me. I even tried the audiobook and it just fell flat. I'm not giving this book a DNF. I'm just giving it a not right now. Like maybe when I'm 40, I'll pick this back up and be like, yes, why didn't I read this like so many years ago? But not right now. I will consider that I read this book this month because I tried. Next we had Red Rising and then also the Atlas Six and I did not get to either of those books this month. <laughs> My TBR kind of went out the window at the beginning of the month and I ended up reading a bunch of random stuff that was not even on my TBR. I still do want to read both of these books. Hopefully I will get to them in May because like I said, I have a little bit more leeway in May to like read whatever I want because I'm not doing any readathons. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't get to these and I feel really bad about it. But the one that I did get to is Oathbringer by Brandy Sandy. I am about a third of the way into it. I ended up starting all the way over because I was about the third way into it in the beginning of the year. I stopped reading it and now I'm starting to read it again. And I was like, I don't even know what happened. I ended up going back and re-listening to the whole thing. And I'm probably about the third of the way through really, truly loving this. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to finish it by the 30th. It is currently the 25th. So I have five days. I don't think I'm actually going to finish this, but I will dip over into May a little bit and I will be finishing it because I am currently reading it and it's really good and I want to finish it. And yes, basically I got a 50% completion rate from my April TBR Tinder. Technically I failed. Again, we don't give punishments here on Kara's bookshelf because we love ourselves. You know what? I didn't get to them this month, but honestly, I might get to them this next month. I am really, truly wanting to read The Alice Six, especially since the sequel's coming out this year, and I wanna read Red Rising, so these books are not books that I am going to unhaul or anything like that. We're still gonna get to them. It's just gonna take a little bit of time, okay? Forgive me. Let's get into the swipes. This month, I am aiming for four swipes. I did four swipes last month and I definitely could have completed it. I totally could have done this TBR. I just read other things. Let's just do it. Let's just get into it. Cause I love swiping on books. Okay, ready? Here we go. I don't know why I'm saying so much in this video. Just please forgive me. Okay, this is who I am. This is real, this is me. First swipe, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, I'm nervous. Okay, deep breath. One, two, three. Oh, okay, okay, I see you. Our first swipe is Gideon the Ninth. <laughs> I think, I think it's a swipe, right? Gut feeling, I am really interested in reading this. All I know about this book is it is about lesbian necromancers in space. And I'm interested. I think it sounds so interesting. I've only heard great things. I think this is a swipe, right? Even though I feel like this is very much like October Halloween spooky vibes, I want to read this. I really want to read this. I just got this book a few months ago and yes, we're gonna do it this month. We're gonna do it this month. Wow, starting off TBR Tinder on a high note, you know what I'm saying? We're swiping right on Gideon the ninth. Let's do it. One, two, three, swipe right. Ooh, my hair just fell out. So Gideon the ninth, we swiped right on and it was a great time. I'm so stoked about this. Okay, ready? One, two, three. No. No, I don't want to read it. I don't want to read this. Swipe two. You and me and us. 
I truly have no idea what this is about. I'm going to put it in the little bio here just to give you a brief little synopsis of what this is about. I think this is, is, oh shh. Nikes. I don't want to read this. Okay, so it sounds like it's about a mother-daughter relationship. The mom is a working mom. Family saga, which I do like, but also looks like there's something about cancer in here. I feel like I would be in the mood to read this, but just not right now. Okay, so like gives me spring vibes, right? <sighs> but it's about someone who has cancer. This is not my vibe right now. It feels really sad and I do love a sad book, don't get me wrong. Like I feel like if I put this on my TBR Tinder, I would just put it off and then probably not read it. So I just feel like this is just a not right now book for me. I will read this in the future, but we're gonna swipe left on it this month because I just, it's not giving me the vibes that I want right now. So you and me and us, we are swiping left on. Wow, look at this. Okay, so we have one right swipe, one left swipe. We have eight swipes left. Speaking of, if you didn't know, I do 10 swipes a month. If I get to number 10, I have to read it if I get to number 10. One, two, three. Okay, okay. I see you, TBR Tinder. Oh, I don't know what I feel. Swipe number three is Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I have been living for V.E. Schwab's writing and I've never read A Darker Shade of Magic, but it's on my shelves for a really long time. Basically, I think this is a book about, he's not like a wizard, but he's like a magician. Okay, it's set in a world where there's like four different Londons and there's like a black London, a white London, a red London, and like, some other kind of London. And he, this wizard or like magician can like hop through each of the worlds. It's a trilogy, so I would be starting a trilogy, but I really love V.E. Schwab and I really love her writing. I just read Gallant, it was so great. I also love Addie LaRue. I think I'm gonna give this a try. I don't know if it's giving spring vibes, but like, wow, I would be into this. I would be into this, okay. Okay, I guess we'll do it. Okay. So Darker Shade of Magic, we are swiping right on. It's a match. I am very interested to read that. I wonder if I'm gonna like it. Like, I feel like I could be like a 50-50 on it. I love V.E. Schwab's writing, but like, I wonder if her older writing is gonna vibe with me. I don't know, because I heard she just keeps getting better and better. So, I don't know. People really, really love this series though. So I'm very, very interested in reading it. Swipe number four, we have two right swipes, one left swipe, and we have seven more swipes. Here we go. One, two, three. <sighs> Man. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> May T Bear Tinder is giving terminal illness. So swipe number four was still Alice. This is a book about a woman who has Alzheimer's and she knows she is going to die from the Alzheimer's. This is a true story. And she has this like diary or memoir that she is writing as she is losing her memory. And it sounds so freaking sad. Like this woman has early onset Alzheimer's too, which she, which means she's like a younger woman with extreme memory loss. And she, and I know she ends up dying from the disease, but this is a heavy load. TBR Tinder, what are you trying to tell me? I don't think I can do this. <laughs> I do really want to read Still Alice. I think I'm going to pass. I think th I, I really do want to read this book just like you and me and us really want to read the book, but not right now. I can't do terminal illness. My dog died last month and I can't. <laughs> We're going to say no, not right now. So Still Alice, we are swiping left on, but we will get back to you soon, maybe when I'm older, because right now I'm just not feeling that for myself. We need some positivity, we need some light, we need some great positive vibes for this spring, which I don't think any of my books are, but whatever. Swipe number five, here we go. One, two, three. Swipe number five is Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. We have so much Brandon Sanderson. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. Star Sight is the second book in Brandon Sanderson's Skyward series, which is like a YA sci-fi about this young woman named Spensa who is trying to become a fighter pilot to like fight off these alien things. I don't 
actually own a physical copy of this, but I know I can get it on my library. And the reason I put this on here is because I need to read the second one because I have the third one and I need to read that. So we're gonna be reading Star Sight. I am so excited to read this. I have been putting this off for so long and I don't even know why because I loved the first one. Five stars, it was amazing. Absolutely fell in love with it. But I have not heard great things about the second one. I feel like I've heard it is a repeat of the first one, which kind of is a bummer for me, but I'm still gonna read it. Star Sight, we are swiping right on. Okay, so we have three white right swipes already. Love it. Two left swipes and we still have five swipes to go. So we are freaking killing this TBR Tinder. I'm stoked. Ready? Swipe number six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, again, again. We're getting mixture of fantasy and literary fiction, but literary fiction is all sad. And maybe that's just my vibe. I do love a sad vibe, but like not this sad. You know what I mean? I am a total 50-50 on this. So swipe number six is all the ugly and wonderful things. It's a love story about two unlikely people and there's a backdrop of a meth lab. Interesting. My cousin read this book and absolutely loved it. This is actually her copy and I've had it for like three years. So I'm so sorry, Corey. I really want to read this, but there's not been a book on this TBR that I'm like super stoked about. So I might swipe left on it in hopes that I can get a book that I am really, really excited about. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, I can't go back to swipes if I had swipe left on them and I can't, I can't undo it, you know? But also at the same time, I'm really in the mood to read a literary fiction. Oof. What do I do? I, I wish I could just see what the next swipe would be, you know? You know what? No, this is my gut. My gut is telling me to swipe left. I think I'm gonna swipe left and we're gonna go and try and see what we can get next. I do wanna read this, just not right now. Oh, I feel bad. I feel like that is a missed opportunity for me, but I'm not feeling it right now. And the whole point of this is to kind of like do it as I'm mood reading, you know? I'm sorry. We're swiping left, we're swiping left. So all the ugly and wonderful things we are swiping left on. Oh, if it comes back around, I feel like I would read it like in a few months. Just not right now. I just, I all I wanna do is get one of my books on the Women's Prize for Fiction and I don't know if that's gonna happen. Okay, let's try it again. One, two, three. No, I don't wanna read this. Okay, I just screwed myself. I should have read All the Ugly and Wonderful Things. I don't wanna read this right now. Okay, The Book Thief. I know The Book Thief is World War II historical fiction. I can't read World War II historical fiction right now. I read Man's Search for Meaning, which was outstanding, but that was World War II and it was about the concentration camps and I just, that's enough for a while. You know what I mean? Book Thief, I know this in my gut, we are going to swipe left on you. And this is already like my seventh swipe. So I, I have three swipes left. If I don't choose one of these three, then I just have to choose whatever the last one is. So Book Thief, we are swiping left. Maybe I should have picked all of the ugly and wonderful things. Okay, here we go. Let's Let's just, Keep positive vibes, keep positive vibes. I am hoping, I am feeling still life. I am feeling great circle. I am feeling this one sky day. Let's do it. Oh, you know what? This gives me spring vibes. We're swiping right on this one. Rules of Civility by Immortals. This is a book set in the 1920s. Uh, it's like glamor Hollywood. He wrote, um, come to me. He wrote A Gentleman in Moscow, which I tried really, really hard to read and I just couldn't get into it. I tried audio and physical and I couldn't do it. I really want to read this book. I have heard really, really good things about Rules of Civility. I also just want to read Immortal's writing in general because it just sounds like everyone raves about how great of an author he is and I just want to like try one of his books to know. Yes, I'm so down for this. 25 year old blah, blah, blah is in Greenwich Village in a jazz bar when so-and-so, a handsome baker comes, banker comes up to her. I am, look at that cover, I'm in the mood. This gives me spring vibes, but like in a good way. It like, it gives me like great Gatsby. Like I'm, this is it. This is the one that I am so excited for out of this entire TBR. So yes, we did it. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited about this. Okay, so let's just quick review. We had eight swipes. We swiped right on four things and we swiped left on four things. 
We are reading A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Stoked! We are reading Rules of Civility by More Towels. So excited for this. We are also reading Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. And we are reading Gideon the Ninth by Tasman Muir. This is a pretty solid TBR if I do say so myself. And then on top of that, I know I at least have three different books I'm going to be reading for videos that are all secret, so sorry, I can't tell you. And then I'm gonna be finishing Oathbringer, probably will try and read Red Rising and or the Atlas Six as well. So we've got a bunch of stuff to choose from this month. I am so excited. I think it's gonna be a really, really great reading month. I am going to be leaving links to all of the books that I have mentioned down in the description today. If you have enjoyed yourself, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up because I would love that, okay? And then also feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed today's video or want to see more bookish content from me. I make videos at least once, maybe twice a week, depending on my schedule. If you wanna watch more TBR Tinder, I am gonna send you right here to this playlist that I've created, which is of all of the TBR Tinders. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and see you in my next video. Adios.